Hi everyone and welcome to my craft workshop for Croe Nanog. Today I'm taking inspiration from the sea and the local beaches here in Sligo. So I've been gathering some beautiful seashells at the local beaches when I've been out for a walk to create these uh, frames made from seashells. So I have a variety of different shells here and now I'm going to run through the materials that we're going to use today for today's craft. The materials we'll be using today are seashells from our local beaches. So I have a variety of different sizes and shapes and anything that I've seen that I thought was beautiful, I collect it. Obviously, I always go for the shells that are unbroken and are smooth. Um, the next thing we'll be using is picture frame. So I always go with a nice natural wooden frame and I take the glass out, of course, for the kids for safety. We will be using some kids safe grout which is great to place on top of the frame and to hold all the shells and pearls and beads in place. You mix this with water to create a nice texture. Then we'll be using some beads. I'm going for pearls of course inspired by the sea and some little mini shells and also I collected some sand at the beach and I brought it home and I washed it all along with washing all the shells and then I added some beautiful glitter, um, gold and silver and there's a little bit of blue in there as well just to create a little bit of sparkle and it gives a lovely texture. So they are the main materials that we'll be using today. So what I'm going to start with is showing you the variety of shells and the finishes that I've created on them. So I've just painted some of them in different colours. I've gone for some gold metallic and I've added some glitter paint as well. Um, I've painted some of them blue and then put a little bit of PVA glue on top of them for a little bit of a shine and some glitter glue. and. Some nice little beads here on this one. So they are the variety of shells and now I'm going to get started. So I've already made a good start here just so that you can see the process clearly. Obviously these are all made by myself so they're the adult version but it's definitely lovely to see how children create their own and they can add all their own colors and textures. So this is the grout and it's, I've already pre-mixed it here for today and now I'm going to get <coughs> started. So I get a nice amount of grout and start placing it on top of the picture frame. Now this picture frame was plain wood but I actually just went over it with a little bit of paint just to give it that kind of washed out, um, kind of um, brought in from the sea washed out effect. Um, so I'm just going to place the grout all along the surface and you know I'm quite generous with it. The kids really love this because you know anything that's a little bit textury and kind of fun for them to, to uh, create with. And just keep going along the surface there. I tend to have a little towel with me and maybe like a little wet cloth as well just for kind of wiping my hands as I start placing the shells and uh, beads down. So just keep going, I'm just going to do the first, the first layer. So if there's a lot of excess I just start kind of wiping it with my hands any excess around the sides but you can tidy it all up at the end. So then I'm just going to start picking out some nice shells just to kind of add along. Just a variety of different ones. Add a little blue one here. So some of them I have popped little pearls on the inside of the shell already and glued them on. 
which gives them a little bit of nice detail. Just adding a bit of grout into anywhere around the edges there. Obviously the kids don't need to be this fussy, they can just be as free and playful and make it as fun as they want. So now I'm just put down my main kind of shells first and then I'm just going to literally pop on some pearls. This is the fun part where you can just experiment. And then I have these little, small little shells here, which are see, you can, you know, you can have it as kind of full as you want or minimum as well. It's whatever, whatever you like yourself. So just to mention that uh, it's really important to let the grout set uh, for, you know, I'd say definitely once everything is on it for about 24 hours, just to get that real good fixture, strong fixture, so that uh, the beads won't be falling off or anything won't be falling off. I'm just going to take a look at that. It looks, looks good. Um, sometimes with my finger, I'll just get some for around the edges there. If I've missed anywhere, just to kind of tidy it up. The kids will definitely love doing this because they love uh, putting their hands into these kind of things. <laughs> uh, it's great fun. And it's good with the kids safe grout because it's safe for them to use. I'm going to pop a few more. I'm going to clean it up in here in the, the inside. going to just move on to this last part. And then it's just, you know, kind of filling in any little areas where you think it needs a little bit more. I find the little uh, teaspoon very handy for laying out the grout. I had been using little sticks, but I find the spoon is stronger and covers more of an area. Now for the final little bit, I think we'll go with this really nice blue full of sparkles in the center and then work some of these as another little beautiful one with pearls inside. 
quite a biggy one there to fit down actually it might be too big we might leave that one and go a little bit smaller a little bit flatter this might be better so you can have great fun decorating all the shells before putting them on you can make it as colorful as possible Tidying up on the inside there. Actually, put a bit there. Sometimes for the corners, it's as easy to use your fingers. It can be a little bit messy, but uh, fun messy. Yeah, I'm going to start. Uh, clean my hands a little bit so that all the beads aren't sticking to them and now some more pearls and we're soon going to get to my favorite part um, and grab some color Might need a little bit of gold here somewhere. No, maybe not. So a few more little pearls. And then some seashell, little mini seashells, just to fill in the little gaps. Just going to turn it around here for a second, have a look, that looks good. using my fingers here now just to fill in and now the small little mini shells these out of the way there now. So it may just need another little bit over here. There we go. It's taken a bit of excess again. There we go. Now I'm going to get the sand that's been mixed with the glitter and just sprinkle it. This is my favorite part. Sprinkle it all over all the little areas where you feel it might need a little bit of sparkle. And it's great because um, the grout is still wet for quite a while and the glitter will then you know set into it and dry so 
what you can do then is, you know, if there's any little area, for instance, where you feel, you know, you might want to put a little pearl into a shell, you could always use a little bit of PVA or some glue just to kind of add a little bit in here or there if you felt like it needed a little bit of tidying up. So another little bit of sparkle all around just to finish it off. And to move this out of the way just to show you. So then of course you can add your favorite picture. Just going to move this. You know, you can take a, a picture of the beach, a picture of you with your friends and family at the beach or a sunset and pop it in there to your lovely little frame. Everything isn't dry yet. And uh, put it somewhere in the house, like your room or somewhere special and keep it forever. So there you go. That's today's frame with seashells. I hope you have loads of fun making your seashell frame and thank you so much for joining today. Enjoy Crewin and Oak and see you next time.